Dennis Kucinich was one of the more popular members on both sides of the aisle when he served previously. He represented a seat in Ohio, but fell victim to redistricting. He's seeking to re-enter what may be a very different Congress from the one he left, so let's find out why. Congressman, you are one of the most liked people on both sides of the aisle, which, by the way, has nothing to do with how one votes. It has to do with how someone treats their colleagues. It, it seems like a different place now. Are you sure you want to go back? Well, first of all, Trey, it's great to be on with you. And it's true. You, you know, there was a time uh, in Congress, well, not long ago, where we were able to work together. We might have difference of opinion. We, we might come from different places politically. But we treated each other well, and we understood there was something more important than us about our work, and that is the country itself. Am I ready to go back? You bet I am. But I remember what it was like, it, you know, in working with people on both sides of the aisle and, and to form friendships there that last beyond Congress, even in my case. I want to go back because, you know, I, I think it's time to come to the aid of our country. And we need to remember, people in Congress need to be reminded that we have to put the country first. You know, Congress, as you know, much to, I'm sure, both of our concern, it's closely divided. Uh, if you remember uh, the Bible, you know, Mark 3:25, a house divided against itself can't, will not stand. So we have to shore up the house. We have to put the concerns of Americans and the American people first, work with both sides, and I'm ready to do that. You know, Dennis, I, I, I considered you to be progressive way before that word really even existed. I mean, I, it, we hear it all the time now, but you were you had this authenticity about your belief structure. Do you currently have a political home in terms of your ideology and beliefs? Well, it starts with this. We're all Americans. There might be some might be liberal, conservative. But we have to remember, before all that, we are Americans. And we have to put the interests of the country above ideology, above party, country above party. And so am I ready to go back? Yes. Am I ready to share with members of both sides of the aisle the importance of identifying our commonalities, of seeing what's important to the American people in terms of things like, look, we've got to address this debt. It's a nightmare. We got to protect our basic liberties in this country. We have to be careful about how far America ventures into these wars. I mean, these are the kinds of things that we just need to be able to talk to each other in order to arrive at a consensus. But you can't do that. I mean, I've seen the atmosphere. I've been down there visiting a few times. There's a lot of tension. Uh, people have left Congress because of it. Uh, I, I stand for unity, and I think there's a way to bring it about. And you can't do it with this, you know, Democrat versus Republican. Nah, we're Americans first. If you want to go back, God bless you. I, I'll be watching this race with great interest. Thank you for coming on on a Sunday night. And thank you for being a, a really kind, decent guy when I worked with you. Well, thank you so much, Trey. And back at you. And if one wants information, go to Kucinich.com. Uh, there is a way to pull this country together, and I hope to play a part in it. Thanks again. Trey. De Dennis Kucinich, thank you so much for joining us on a Sunday night.